Hello everybody, Samson here. Welcome back to another episode of our Infinity Evolved Skyblock. So guys, so good to have you back with me. And as always, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our community here. And if you guys like the video today, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know that this was a good one. Alright, so... Since last episode, I've done a little bit of work, I always do, because I want to get a lot of the off-camera stuff, a lot of the crafting, that kind of thing, done before you guys come by. Ooh, I should dump my experience. I got four levels. Cool. Just from craft, uh, from not crafting. Oh, that would be cool if you got XP from crafting, but no, no, no. Smelting. So, I've been doing a lot, guys. Like, I mean, a lot. <laughs> Just of crafting and getting stuff ready. And I finally got this thing working. I believe last episode we made this turning table. Um, and we were, I was trying to figure out how to work it. Couldn't get it working. Uh, we needed a kinetic generator. So, I chose the electric kinetic generator. I used a battery. I just charged it in our... Um, generator down here gave it just enough power to kind of get it going so you have to stick um, this thing just for anyone that doesn't know for those of you that know I apologize but it's just it's good information because I really didn't know either so um, it has a fan on this side and a different kind of opening on this side you have to place it um, when you place it this thing that you can't see in here on this kinetic generator is what's going to face you so I had to kind of stand up on top of this guy like this place it down got it connected up put the battery in you have to put a motor in the more you put in the better it works got the thing made and I'll show you guys right over here what we got so we were able to make this guy right here the iron turning blank which is awesome so I got that, I got advanced alloy going, redstone, we made an energy crystal because I ended up having some diamond dust. Um, I got everything up, because right now we're going for the thermal centrifuge. Sorry if I didn't mo mention that, guys. We're going for the thermal centrifuge. Um, so this is kind of the recipe. Uh, we have everything that we need other than this gun. And for the gun, we need an advanced circuit. So this is what we need for the whole thing. This is what we need for the advanced circuit. And, um, yeah, this is just, what we, and this is the actual gun here. So, advanced circuit, make it there. We'll put it in here. We'll finish the gun. We'll put it over here. We'll make the thermal centrifuge. And we should be hopefully good to go. I mean, we might have to figure out a power source or something like that. But I'll honestly probably just go with a bunch more of these generators and uh, get that going. Now, to continue on with this whole deal here, uh, we need these the basic capacitors so we need signalium and lapatron tubes I made some lapatron tubes we got that going um, do I have that recipe set up somewhere I'm trying to think hold on so for this thing we need this thing which means we need this thing so we have this set up right here yeah the lapatron tubes is really what we're coming down to oh my gosh so we need signalium so we have this thing that's what we're working on all of that all of that explanation to get to here um, I've spent I don't know probably a couple hours off camera just working on this so you guys didn't have to go through it all with me finally magma crucible yeah these things are hogs man they can use up to 400 RF per tick solo on their own man we need a better power generation um, maybe if I can get some kind of auto crafting or something like that going on I, the next kind of step right now with our automation, ooh, wow, dang, we got a lot of animals over here. Um, yo, animals, how's it going, man? Or, not animals, <laughs> you're not men. <laughs> anyway, chickens, piggies, sheepsies, horses, lamb chops, yep, we got lots of animals. Cool, I'll fi uh, if I need any of those later, we'll do that. We don't have any cows, I just realized we don't have any cows over there. Um, oh, yes, okay, I just remembered, sorry. Uh, I did get the extra piece of leather that I needed to make a jetpack. Okay. Uh, where did I put it? Did I lose it? or No, okay, right here. Ooh. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, before I forget, because I won't forget about the thermal stuff, hopefully. But I wanted to make a jetpack last episode. Couldn't make it. I want to make it this episode. So that's what we're going to lo look at right now. Okay, just some iron. Ooh, okay. We, we may be gaining the power of flight this episode, guys. That would be awesome. Because that's going to open up so much stuff, and it's going to protect us from dying, all of that craziness. Oh, is this is this a big convoluted process? It looks like it might be. I might have to do. Oh my gosh, a cold. Like what? What? Obsidian. That's not too hard. Compressed coal, which is a coal block, which is 
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some off-camera crafting for this thing. Yeah, I'm not putting you guys through all this. That's just a lot of nonsense right there. And is this super difficult? Okay, this isn't super difficult. We have sulfur. It's really just this bad boy. Well, we'll look at that in a minute then. We'll keep this over here just as a thing. Yeah. Chicken! Oh, I did a little baby. Hey, chicken, what's going on? Okay. Oh, what was I doing? Thermal centrifuge. Automation. Yes, we were talking about... Yes, okay, I got distracted. Okay, we had we had a bit of an ADD moment. That's okay. So we got all of these now. Um, tons of iron. I put all our iron through the, uh, the process to get all, like, super multiplied and awesomed. Right now we're doing the crushed uranium. Um, let's see. We'll pull out... We got, yeah, sure. We'll pull out the gold powder and the gold here. We'll stick that back up here. We're not, it's not a perfect system right now. Yeah, there we go. Now it's doing the crushed stuff. It's going to work through. I wanted to make sure that we had our uranium all like pretty close to ready to go. That way we have a good supply of it when it comes time to uh, start utilizing big reactors. We have a ton of uranium. Uh, not uranium, yellorium. Um, but that's kind of what we're looking at. We need eventually like automate smelting all that stuff and we'll look at it but right now it's just we're we don't even have the power to keep up with all this automation it's really the biggest issue we have right now is power uh we don't got enough we don't got enough and no surprise so what we are working on is the thermal thing and my brain oh yes we, we need to melt down some redstone so i have how much do i have 13 that's not too bad i just need a bucket's worth which i think is four is it four? Hold on. One, two, three, four. Let's see what that does. Oh, no, it's ten. So I need another six. All right. Well, that's doing that. We need to go grab the other stuff. And we'll stick. Okay, yeah, we need to go grab the other stuff. So I want to make a tank. Because I could use, like, a fluid transposer, but really... Yeah, no, I'm not. I, I don't want to bother crafting another, another one of those things when I can simply just do it this way. Uh, if I make a tank, I can have it export to the top of the tank. We'll put it in a bucket this way. And this is all to make signalium. Uh, we need, which I thought I had in here. Oh, you know what? I have it over here, right? Yes, we need this stuff. Copper and tin. Or copper and silver? Yeah, I think that's what we needed. So if we take... Our new tank, newly acquired tank, stick it on top of our magma crucible. Uh, let's see, we need to change this to orange. There we go, and bucket. Awesome. Uh, now, if I hit uses, oh, a bunch of uses. So we just use silver and copper, and we should, oh, well, we need uh, we did an actual crafting table for this. And we should be able to get signalium. Oh my gosh, the processes, guys. Yeah, and I have stuff everywhere, I know. It's just it's just how I roll. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so there's four. That's pretty good. Um, let's get this cooked up. Two over here, two over here. I just want to do this as fast as I possibly can. And let's grab these Lapatron things and... <sighs> right, thermal thingy. Okay, how, how close are we now? So we needed this, we needed this, we needed these. We just need redstone chipsets, and we should be good to go. We need four redstone chipsets, which I have pre-made. Yeah, that's right. I was actually prepared for something. Okay. And you know what? I think one ingot of that is going to suffice. And let's see over here. Is this going to do it? Oh my gosh, we have it. Okay. So, now watch this chain reaction right here. Advanced circuit. Mining laser. Thermal centrifuge. Oh my gosh, this was a lot of stuff to do to get to this point. Wow. All of that, like, hours of work for, like, what is this? A few minutes of video. Yeah, pretty crazy. But, I have you guys with me, so it's awesome. And I'm so glad. So if you guys have any other suggestions, like I said last video, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and put it down in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys because you guys are so smart and you know what's going on. So let me just do a little bit of uh, wiki research real quick. Figure out how this thing works before I just plop it down and I'll bring you guys back in just a minute. 
Okay guys, we're back. So I did a little bit of research, actually quite a bit of research onto the thermal centrifuge and some other things. We're looking through what we got going on. Oh, that's not what we were looking at. Uh, with this guy, because the whole point of him, here we'll, we'll kind of get back to what we were looking at last episode, um, was the whole point of it was so that we could get this stuff, the pellet of RTG fuel, because to get that we need plutonium, to get that uh, we need the thermal centrifuge, but I was looking into this to see if there's any way to get this tiny plutonium without these, and there's not that I am aware of. If there is, please, please, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Um, so to make this, it involves a bunch of other stuff. It means a canning machine, and I think we have to run this through a nuclear reactor, which might blow up on us, and that is a whole other can of worms. So we're not going to be really using the thermal centrifuge this episode. I'm gonna, I ended up actually putting it over here because it takes a lot of power from what I understand. So we may actually need to get that nuclear thing going anyway just to be able to, like, run that thing. So we'll figure it out, guys. We'll get it going. But something else I wanted to look at, which I was had up just now, is the whole point of this right now is just to get power. We're trying to get better power options. And something that I'm actually using in my other series that I've been very interested in is... Um, whoops. Sorry about that. Um, is the culinary generator. So the culinary generator in this pack is not too bad to make. We looked at this earlier on, just furnace, piston, iron, here. It takes tofu, though. So that's not terrible. It's just going to mean I'm going to have to do a lot of off-camera, um, I have to do a lot of off-camera work, just, like, crossbreeding crops, which, I mean, I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. So we just needed pumpkin and tomato. We have that to get us started. It's rice, which takes a normal sugarcane seed, which we can get. Uh, rye seeds, which is just normal seeds and barley, and barley is just sugar cane and more seeds. So we have everything to begin the process, which is awesome. Um, it'll probably take me at least an hour or so to start going with that, uh, to look at getting some of the culinary generator stuff. And then after that, we need to look at finding a way to like grow our crops and stuff. I built this farm over here. Um, a lot of the reason I built it was so that we could get stuff like uh, potatoes and carrots and different foods and see about automating stuff. I really actually was hoping it could automate the um, agricraft crops, but I don't think this guy will do that. Though it could grow us some other stuff. But you know what, guys? I think that's actually going to have to be everything for this episode. I apologize it's a little bit short. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, check it out. I built another portal. Guess what? It goes nowhere. Oh, man. <laughs> I was so disappointed. I was like, dude, we could go to the nether and mine everything. And it'll be great and it'll be amazing. No, it's just another void world. So that's unfortunate. But guys, I think that is going to be everything for this episode. I just want to say thanks so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the episode, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know. If you guys have any suggestions for me for the pack, please leave it down in the, the uh, description. I would, or not description, down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. Love your suggestions because you guys are always so smart and you know what's going on and you can hopefully make my life a little bit easier. But as always, guys, we'll talk to you later.